of my lipstick is patchy as fuck. Don't let me drown. Um, basically, I'm about to go to bed and I'm filming this. Well, as I announced on Twitter, we recently hit 4.3k on YouTube. I'm so sorry about my lipstick. I know it's everywhere. I am announcing a giveaway today. Basically, I'm going to be doing a mental health crisis box giveaway, which if you don't know, I sell on Etsy. I'm going to be doing like one box giveaway and you know, I'm excited about that. All you have to do to be entered is leave a comment down below, ask a question, anything, just comment something. Hit the thumbs up button and want to too, you can follow me on Twitter, which is kind of where I rant and talk about absolutely everything. And yeah, that's that. Um, the giveaway will end once I've moved into my new place. So you've got a mile, it's fine. Um, all you have to do to enter, like I said, is leave a comment down below and you know, or something like <laughs> ask a question, request a video, I don't know, just comment something. You know, I get lonely. I don't. I, I don't go out very much. I'm going out tomorrow, which is like, you know, a thing. My God, my phone needs to stop going off. So yeah, today I wanted to kind of talk a little bit about you know eating disorders, body image, and the very simple fact that eating disorders don't have a look. Like you can't look like you have an eating disorder. Eating disorders cover any kind of disordered eating and there are so many videos online about all the different types of eating disorders and I'm not going to sit here and bore you to death with that. However, personally I'm diagnosed with eating disorder not otherwise specified and while I was in secondary school slash high school slash under the age of 16 I was diagnosed with anorexia and I didn't eat <laughs> at all. Like I literally blacked out in a science classroom because I didn't eat. So yeah, that's my history with eating disorders. I'm currently diagnosed with eating disorder not otherwise specified and to manage that I drink Ensure drinks, which if you don't know are a food supplement slash weight gain thing and then my quetiapine dose got increased and uh, to anyone who is unfamiliar with quetiapine, it's notoriously known for being the one drug that causes a hell of a lot of weight gain. And believe me, it, I've kind of learned this, it makes you so hungry. Like when I take it in the evening, I get so hungry and then I fall asleep. But my issue was, is I was giving into the cravings. So I put on a load of weight. And then like in the last two months, I've dropped like 10 kilograms, which is quite a lot really considering, you know, I'm only five foot two. That's why I have so much struggle, like struggle trying to like, stand and make videos because I'm so sure. A few troll comments on Twitter and yes I know don't give in to trolls or whatever you know I, I don't care. They got said and yes well they said triggered me but that's a whole other video. Basically they was like oh you're too fat to have an eating disorder. Me. While I know I am bigger than I used to be I am not overweight. <laughs> like I'm like what, 50 something kilograms? I, I don't know exactly what it is. I don't really want to check either because I'm trying to avoid getting into the habit of... That's a really unhealthy, like, habit. And oh my god, my phone! Oh, my phone does not stop going off. When it comes to people being like, oh, you're too fat, or you could have an eating disorder, um, it, it, it gets to me. Because I'm just like, since when? does an eating disorder have a weight? Like yes, to be diagnosed with anorexia, you have to be a certain amount below a healthy weight. And yes, that is very true, but it's not the only eating disorder. There's such a big misconception as well with eating disorders that you can only have an eating disorder if you're underweight. And there are so many eating disorders. A few on the top of my head are obviously EDNOS, anorexia, bulimia, binge eating disorder. Um, I can't think of any others on the top of my head. Um, but you know, eating disorders are basically disordered eating. So it kind of, they manifest themselves differently in people. And for me, I'm very, what, do I, what am I trying to, I'm very prone to just not eating. Like I'll binge eat and then I just won't eat. And it's so unhealthy and please, if you do that, get support, get help. Um, 
I am very fortunate in the respect that I do have a GP at the moment who looks out for me and when I was in London the mental health team kept an eye on it. Um, what I have to avoid like getting myself too worked up about my weight because I used to be like so obsessed and I'd check it like three four times a day and I would cry if the number went up in a day and to anyone who doesn't know anything about weight, um, you gain weight throughout the day because your body kind of, you know, does its thing in the day. So in the morning you're actually like more likely to be lighter than you are in the evening. And the issue I had is I was checking it like consistently throughout the day, multiple times a week, and I got so obsessed with the numbers and <laughs> it is so hard to deal with and live with and move on from. Like, I'm nowhere near recovered when it comes to food. I struggle so much with it. I don't find eating in public easy. I can eat if I'm with friends or with my family, but if I'm on my own, I won't buy food out. Um, I get very afraid of people judging me, and it is a major problem. Like, I, I openly accept this. Like, if people start to, like, attack me or judge me, then I will respond and I will defend myself. Like, no one has a right to attack anyone, in my opinion. And especially when it comes to weight, like, I don't understand people who go out of their way to put others down about how they look. Like, yes, you know, weight is weight. And no one knows what that person's going through. So when I get comments that are like, oh, you're fat, or, you know, you don't have meat, or you're overweight. Them kind of things really get to me because I'm just like, I literally nearly died because of my eating disorder and I would link the video in the description but I kind of deleted everything. <laughs> I um, I decided that I didn't, didn't want to listen to like 16 year old me anymore on here so I deleted all the videos. Um, but when I was really underway I made a video while I was in hospital because I collapsed and I was told that day that if I didn't, you know, change any something, that I was gonna end up dead. And getting told that at any point about anything is so, so hard. And I wish I could go back in time and, you know, not start restricting and skipping meals. Because once you start skipping meals, it's so easy to be like, oh, well, I'll be all right a bit longer. And I got to a point where I just, I wouldn't eat unless someone made me and even then I wouldn't eat it. Like I feel so bad about what, what I put my mum through with and all that. I feel bad about, you know, the idea that, you know, I could have died and then my sister would have been left dealing with that. Like I hate myself for it because I care so much about my sisters and I always will. Like they are a rock and my old but the older younger sister who is 14 I don't know where I'd be right now like I say alive because I don't want to put them through loss and that probably sounds really bad and I don't mean for it to they are what keep me going and when I start to restrict I always try and you know kick the habit or I go speak to a doctor or I go speak to a consultant or I speak to the therapist and recently I start. I never used to use diet pills, I tried some <laughs> and I started using them when I was in my third admission this year which was the Park Royal admission. I'm very obsessed with it and that is still something I'm dealing with now like I still have them like and they have helped like I hate saying that, I literally hate saying that but they've like helped me a lot with losing weight and mainly because I take metabolism boosters because a lot of my medication slows down the metabolism. I know this, my doctors know this and metabolism boosters, I'm prescribed. But the weight loss tablets, I'm not. You can buy them over the counter. I actually got these off the internet because I didn't want to go into a shop. But um, I don't advise that anyone takes weight loss tablets because they can be like, you get so addicted to the weight loss and I'm I, like I have to be very careful like I get very obsessed with numbers and 
it's hard you guys like it's so hard because you're just like oh right I'm using grey oh and all these people said they wouldn't work and they do and that's kind of where I'm at currently um I have just dropped a significant amount of weight and you know you guys can probably tell like I did gain a lot of weight and I was really unhappy with it I know it's like not a big number but I'm only five foot two and I've never been anything above 50 like I was always around 50 and then I hit 66 and I was like oh my god like I got so upset and so down but even then I was like I can't just stop eating and I didn't really know what to do so I gave weight loss tablets a go um, I mean they were I think unless like <laughs> I mean I am being more active now I don't know like the thing is when you're dealing with depression as well as like everything like you don't want to get out of bed you don't want to go to a shop and you can't you just physically can't and you know that's something that loads of us go through and I still deal with this now like it's there are days where I'm just like I can't move like I just I just can't and I'm not ashamed to say that you know we're all human we all have things going on you know what my depression's been really bad recently and you know that's okay it's not the end of the world because I'm actually at a point where I can deal with it better like I know to ask my GP to increase my medication if I need it and you know I'm not afraid to ask and maybe it just comes with experience I don't know I feel like I'm kind of on a bit of a ramble here but I thought this was an important video to make but yeah uh, I'm gonna end this video here and like I said at the beginning the giveaway is going to be going on until I move into my new place which is on the 7th of September and I'm so excited like I cannot wait to be back in London Get me out of Telford, please. Someone. I, I will pay money. <laughs> like, if I could start my tenancy earlier, and um, there's a reason why I moved away. And here's a fun fact about it. I was going through Twitter earlier, and I realised that I've been getting trolled by people from my secondary school since secondary school. And you've got to remember, from, I'm 21 now. This ended, like, 2016. Like, in 2016, I just... Not 16, sorry, 2014. Yikes! that's scary 2014 five years ago five years ago i left secondary school and people have been going at me not in a large group but i there was a username i even recognize that username so this is one of the og trolls used to troll me back in the day like when i first moved to uni in the second year of college they were at me then and it's been going on since and I had no idea who this person was because I didn't bother looking at who they were. I just blocked them on YouTube, you know? And then I, I was on Twitter already. I was like, oh, for fuck's sake. I've been such a naive idiot to think that it was just going to stop once I left. Only recently that I've kind of been, like, informed that it's still going on. Uh, fun fact, I don't actually use Facebook anymore, really. <laughs> like, the worst way to get hold of me. Anyway, I just thought I'd share that little story because when I read it, I was like, oh my god, I'm an idiot. My phone is going off, so yes. Uh, I'm going to end this video here. If you are new here, maybe hit the subscribe button. Uh, I make videos pretty much every day, but I am going on holiday next week, so... You know, it was, uh, if you want to keep up to date with me, go follow me on my Twitter. Uh, I post on that literally all the time. Okay, it, it, it's a problem. <laughs> yeah, that's all I've got for you guys today. So yeah, bye. I don't know. I don't do painting. I don't like art. I nearly failed it in school because I couldn't be arsed with it. But uh, hey, and again, another story for another video. Bye guys.